हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिसिस एज फ्रॉम द नेम इट इज द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल टू पायरुवेट मॉलिक्यूल्स आर सिंथेसाइज्ड एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एटीपी आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इट इज अ टेन स्टेप प्रोसेस इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप ग्लूकोज इज कन्वर्टेड टू ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट इट इज अ फॉस्फोराइलाइजेशन प्रोसेस इन दिस प्रोसेस टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एंजाइम हेक्सोकाइनेज and one molecule of atp is converted to adp now you can see in this glucose 6 at the sixth position phosphate group is added and glucose 6 phosphate is formed now glucose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 6 phosphate it is a isomerization process it takes place in the presence of enzyme phosphohexose isomerase now fructose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 16 bisphosphate This reaction takes place in the presence of enzyme phosphofructose kinase, and one molecule of ATP is converted to ADP. Now you can see from glucose, glucose is a C6 molecule, and fructose 16 bisphosphate is also a C6 molecule. Now the breakdown of fructose 16 bisphosphate takes place in the presence of enzyme aldolase. and two c3 molecules are produced one is dihydroxy acetone phosphate and another is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate both are c3 molecules now dihydroxy acetone phosphate may also convert to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate in the presence of enzyme phosphotriose isomerase glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted to 13 bis phosphoglycerate in the presence of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase in this molecule the phosphate group is present at the first and the third position in this process one nad plus molecule is reduced to nadh plus molecule now 13 bis phosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate in the presence of enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase here adp is converted to atp now two molecules of 13 bis phosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate so two molecules of atp are synthesized in the next step 3 phosphoglycerate is converted to 2 phosphoglycerate this process takes place in the presence of enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase in this process the phosphate group is transferred from the third position to the second position now two phosphoglycerate is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of enolase enzyme and the reaction is catalyzed by magnesium ions phosphoenol pyruvate is changed to pyruvate in the presence of enzyme pyruvate kinase here also two adp molecules are converted to two atp molecules because two molecules of pyruvate are synthesized so in the whole process of glycolysis one glucose molecule get converted to two molecules of pyruvate now in the case of atp the conjunction of atp takes place in the first and the third step in the first step one molecule of atp is consumed and in the third step another molecule of atp is consumed now in the case of production two molecules of atp are produced in this step and two molecules of atp are produced in this step so in the complete glycolysis process there is total gain of two atp molecules now what happens to the pyruvate it may undergo two types of reactions when oxygen is present or in the case of aerobic respiration pyruvate enters mitochondria and it undergo citric acid cycle when oxygen is absent in the case of muscles or when mitochondria is absent in the case of erythrocytes pyruvate is converted to lactate this reaction takes place in the presence of enzyme lactate dehydrogenase and the nadh plus is converted to nad plus this molecule is reutilized in the glycolysis cycle now this is about the 
metabolism of glucose uh, now the question is what happens to galactose and fructose galactose is changed to glucose 1 phosphate and it is converted to glucose 6 phosphate and then this enters to the glycolysis cycle in the case of fructose fructose is converted to fructose 1 phosphate now this may convert to dihydroxy acetone phosphate and it undergoes the glycolysis or it may get converted to glyceraldehyde now this glyceraldehyde is converted to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and it may enters the glycolysis cycle so this is all about the glycolysis cycle thank you for watching this video